Emergency department management of atrial fibrillation is changing. In the past, the emphasis has been on simply controlling the patient's heart rate. Today, the emphasis is on not just controlling the ventricular rate, but also on converting the rhythm from atrial fibrillation back to normal sinus. This applies not just to unstable patients, but also to stable patients. Most patients who are converted from atrial fibrillation to normal sinus rhythm can be discharged from the hospital. For elective ED cardioversion, the patient episode of atrial fibrillation must be less than 48 hours duration, or the patient must be on some form of ongoing anticoagulation. To begin the process, the patient is placed on a cardiac monitor and an intravenous access obtained, just as with any other cardiac patient. The discharge is delivered through stick-on pads in most patients, although the normal paddles can be used in patients if these pads are not available or do not fit onto your uh, cardiac monitor defibrillator system. Pads are placed generally in the anterior portion of the chest over the sternum, usually a little bit to the right, and the second pad is placed in the posterior part of the chest, just a little bit to the left of the midline, at about the level of the heart. The synchronized function on the monitor defibrillator is activated and usually indicated by a small mark over the QRS complex. This allows the system to determine when the shock should be delivered so it is not administered during the vulnerable part of the QRS complex, which might result in the production of ventricular fibrillation. The patient is sedated with any combination of procedural sedation agents. In many instances, propofol is selected, mainly because it is rapid acting, produces deep sedation, and some sense of amnesia for the events. Once the patient is sedated, the monitor is checked to make sure it is in the synchronized mode and sensing. It is charged to 200 joules, there is no need to start at lower energy levels and titrate up. 200 joules is used for both atrial fibrillation and atrial flutter. The operator needs to confirm that no one is touching the patient, and the monitor may be discharged by pushing an activation button. The button will have to be held in place as the monitor must sense the QRS complex to determine the proper time to deliver the shock. Generally, the patient will jump somewhat when the shock is delivered. Successful cardioversion is confirmed through observation of normal sinus rhythm on the cardiac monitor. The patient is observed in the emergency department until all signs of procedural sedation have cleared. Patients who remain in normal sinus rhythm can safely be discharged from the emergency department after an hour or so of observation. Most patients who are successfully cardioverted will remain in sinus rhythm and can be discharged home with no additional medications for follow-up with their cardiologist.